Today in the soybeans, they were a little bit lower. That downtrend is still intact right now. We're at a four month low because there's no deal yet. And the summit is not ready to go uh, until, until that happens. And I think that that's what uh, was the word out of the White House that uh, until they're really ready to ink that deal, uh, the president of the U.S. and China will not be meeting. Uh, also, weather could be delaying some of the planting, and that possibly may move acres into the bean market, which is really uh, also bearish, and that kind of adds to a little bit of the sentiment here. Corn was also easier. The USDA cut uh, some of the ethanol demand. Uh, interestingly enough, it was only about, like by uh, 25 uh, million barrels, and uh, there was an expectation that it could be upwards of 75. Now, so if that means that there's going to be, you know, more cuts to come, you know, we've got to be very careful. Also, this, there's a short positions are 75% uh, of what the record used to be. Uh, and it's kind of like strange because it's right here before uh, the season. Uh, could this be the little bit of a tell that uh, when they try to scramble and cover this back up, cover these shorts, that this could really what's going to spark a rally. We really certainly hope so. Uh, but today, uh, corn was down. It's just a little bit easier. It's kind of like bouncing around unchanged, but we're still at these low levels. And so we have to watch that. Now, wheat slipped today, and just recently uh, it slipped even further. It was down eight, almost nine cents. But, uh, you know, are there more shipment uh, uh, cuts coming? I think so. The market does say yes. The U.S. dollar index is at a 20-month high, and that could be adding to some of the pressure. Uh, and uh, it's kind of interesting because on, on uh, Thursday, we really got a very good response after the report. Even though the report was bearish, the, uh, the wheat market rallied. Uh, but it seems to be short-lived right now. Uh, funds are also adding to those short positions. But now we're, we're, we're pushing. We're actually having people asking, can this market go below $4? Uh, that's almost a scary thing thought think uh, when you think back that just a month ago uh, it was at like five dollars and thirty cents so uh, we've come a long way right now and uh, there doesn't just doesn't seem anything to turn the market around uh, just quite yet but we're gonna watch I think that that just tells us we've got a lot of volatility to come and in a couple of weeks we're gonna have our acreage report and that's going to uh, dictate a little bit of where we're gonna go from here